Welcome to X-ray Structure Determination with AlphaFold. This tutorial will show you how to carry out X-ray Structure Determination with AlphaFold models in Phoenix using Predict and Build. Here are the steps in solving an X-ray structure with Predict and Build. First, the structure of each chain in your molecule is predicted with AlphaFold. Then, low confidence residues are removed and compact domains are identified with Process Predicted Model. The domains are used as search models in phasor molecular replacement. And the molecular replacement solution is used in density modification and model building with AutoBuild, keeping only parts that agree with the density modified map. To try and get a more complete model, the full length predicted chains are superposed and morphed to match the AutoBuild model and are refined. The model with the best free R value is chosen. The entire procedure is then iterated using the best model from one cycle as a template in AlphaFold prediction in the next. If you want to run predict and build with X-ray data, you will need the sequences of all the unique chains in your molecule and how many of each are present, and your high-resolution experimental data, usually about 4.5 angstroms or better, will be necessary. Optionally, you can also supply predicted models for example, if you have run AlphaFold or another prediction method yourself. If your structure contains DNA or RNA, you will need to supply models with approximately the right structure and exactly the right sequences, as AlphaFold does not predict nucleic acid structures. When predict and build is completed, it will provide a rebuilt model based on AlphaFold predictions in your experimental data that represents your crystal structure. This is ready for further rebuilding and refinement. Predict and Build will also provide a set of one or more full-length predicted models superimposed on your rebuilt model. These are useful as reference models for refinement because they often have very good geometry. Finally, Predict and Build will provide a density modified map suitable for model evaluation and improvement. You can use all of these outputs to make a more complete and accurate model. This will nearly always be necessary as Predict and Build does not create a final model. It will have no ligand, no waters, and often will not contain all the residues in the model as they could not be automatically placed. Let's run Predict and Build on a Bromo domain structure, PDB entry 7QZ0, at a resolution of 2.1 angstroms. In the Phoenix main GUI window, select New Project. Then select Set up Tutorial Data. And select the first tutorial. Bromo Domain. Hit OK and your new Bromo Domain project will show up on the left side of your Phoenix GUI. If you don't see it, click the Last Modified button to show recent projects. Click on the AlphaFold button and then on the Predict and Build Crystallography button to open a new Predict and Build window. Click Add File and a window showing a directory with the data available for the Bromo Domain tutorial will open. Note that this directory contains a README file that describes this tutorial. Select the sequence file 7qc0.fa and the data file 7qc0.mtz and click Open. This will load the sequence and data into the Predict and Build window. Notice that a title has been automatically added. You can edit this if you like. The resolution, cell dimensions, and space group have been extracted from the data. Make sure that these match what you expect to find. At this stage, normally you cannot know the hand of the space group, but you usually do know other aspects of the space group, such as screw axes. If the only ambiguity in space group is the hand, leave the space group alternatives choice as hand. Otherwise, you may want to set it to all. Scroll down a little, and you will see that the one unique sequence has been copied from your sequence file, and one copy of the sequence was found. You can edit this sequence or the number of copies if you need to. The project directory is listed at the bottom of the page. This is the directory where the data for this project are located. Back up at the top of the page, click on Prediction and Building Settings to show the most commonly used parameters for this tool. In this tutorial, we are going to leave all the parameters just as they are, except that we are going to use Quick Mode because the data and predicted model are very good. To set quick mode, change the rebuilding strategy from standard to quick. Let's have a look at the other parameters on this page, even though we are not going to change them. The number of models is the number of separate predictions that AlphaFold will carry out. 
the one with the highest PLDDT value is kept. Normally five models is plenty. If a very high confidence model is found, no more models will be created. Normally you will want to include templates from the PDB. Prediction on the first cycle will then be carried out with and without templates and the highest PLDDT model will be kept. Normally you will want to include multiple sequence alignments. These provide much of the information for prediction on the first cycle. You can choose to skip multiple sequence alignments after the first cycle. This is useful in cases where the multiple sequence alignment information dominates the prediction even when rebuilt models are being used as templates. You can choose how many iterations of prediction and model building to carry out. This is normally set automatically based on your choice of rebuilding strategy. You will want to use at least four processors if you have them available. This will speed up rebuilding. If you want to try several runs with different parameters, you might want to pause after molecular replacement and refinement for each run to check the results. Then you can just go on with the best one. The Phoenix AlphaFold server will save sequences used in prediction, the parameters for prediction, and the resulting model if you allow pre-calculated results. If you run again with the same sequence and parameters, the server will just supply the result from the previous run. This also means that you can start a run, close it, come back the next day, and run it again and get your result right away. Predict and Build saves intermediate results in a carry-on directory. This allows restarting if something happens and the program stops. To continue a previous run, be sure the right carry-on directory is specified and check the Continue This Previous Run button. In this tutorial, the carry-on directory is supplied with predicted models. If you check the Continue button in this tutorial, then the run will be a normal run except that predicted models will be taken from the carry-on directory instead of getting them from the server. For now, we will leave this unchecked and use the server. You can find and set other parameters as well. We are all set. Let's hit Run and let this tutorial go ahead. After we hit Run, a new Predict and Build X-ray tab appears. The first thing it does is run AlphaFold to predict the structure. Two predictions are run here, one with just the multiple sequence alignment and one including templates from the PDB. After the prediction is finished, a results tab appears. It shows that the model was predicted with very high confidence, the PLDDT is about 96. 103 residues were predicted with confidence above 70 and only two with confidence under 70. These two residues will be trimmed off before using the model. The predict and build job is now running molecular replacement. Molecular replacement yielded a very high log likelihood gain of 821.8 and translation function z-score of 29.8. Refinement of this model yielded an R of 0.27 and a free R value of 0 0.30, very good values. The full length predicted model is morphed to match the trimmed model obtained from molecular replacement and refinement. Then it is refined and rebuilt. The free R is slightly improved over the trimmed model. The RMS coordinate difference between the predicted model and the refined rebuilt model is just 0.4 angstroms. The predict and build job has now finished and has produced several overall best files. The PDB file is your final model. The mapcoefs.mtz and map.ccp4 files are your density modified map as Fourier coefficients and as a map file. The superposed predicted untrimmed.pdb file contains your AlphaFold predictions superimposed on your final model. You can use these to show how much has changed by using the experimental data. Let's hit open in Chimera X and look at the predicted and rebuilt models. Here's the final model, overall best.pdb. And here's the superposed predicted model. The models are very similar. That is because the initial AlphaFold prediction had very high confidence and was very accurate. When your job is done, a button for Refine and Validate appears. This is just one of many things you can do next. Your rebuilt and refined model, superimposed predicted models, and map are ready for further refinement, rebuilding, and adding waters and ligands. Best of luck with your structure determination using Phoenix and AlphaFold. If you have questions or feedback, you are welcome to contact us at help at phoenixonline.org or tutorials at phoenixonline.org.